my channel. I've realized my nails are disgusting. Oh my goodness. I need to fix that. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me because I like get ready with me's and I want to do one today because I have finished my exams and I'm going out tonight so I thought I would film my makeup, film me getting ready. You know what I'm going to do so I don't feel like I need to explain myself any further. I am going to chat to you whilst I do it even though I find talking and doing my makeup difficult but we'll try my hardest. And yeah, basically that's what I'm going to do. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave a thumbs up if you did. There we go. And um, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, then definitely go do that right now. And also if you're not following me on Instagram, then that would also be worth your time. So now I've got that all out of the way, let's get into this get ready with me and put some makeup on my face. Obviously I'm not going out in a hoodie but I just am comfy at the moment and I can't be bothered changing. So this is what we're going to do. So I am going to start off today with, I'm not too sure actually, I don't really know what makeup look I'm going to go for. I'm going to see if we're going to get some Instagram on Instagram? Inspiration on Instagram of what we're going to do because I... I'm really bad for doing the same thing over and over again. So I'm going to start off with my eyes because I want to make them nice and dramatic because I like that. So we are going to prime with the Rimmel Lasting Perfection Concealer because I always use this stuff and I really like it because it just does the job and that is that. So I'm just going to pop this on my eyelids and just blend in with my finger because that is the easiest way to get it on your eye. I feel very underdressed for this video, especially how it's a makeup video and I'm sitting in a hoodie. Also my eyebrows need done ASAP. Right, so now I am just going to quickly just take a brush like so and just take a neutral shade and put that over the concealer so that it's kind of set in place. There's people drilling outside as well. I'm sorry if you can hear them. I just live in a really busy street and people like to do construction. So first of all from my Violet Voss palette I am just going to grab the hashtag shade, pop that in my crease, you know, the drill. I'm now... I'm not going to hang around and I'm just going to go straight in with the Wine and Dine shade which is a really pretty cranberry colour so I'm going to pop that in my crease, I'm going to take like this smaller fluffy brush and use this. I use this mirror even though I've got an... I'm actually really enjoying getting ready with a hoodie on, it makes me feel like I'm properly, well I am getting ready for a night out but it makes me feel like I'm actually getting ready with you guys because really if I was to get ready with friends for a night out I would just go in like pajamas or my hoodie or something so this is more realistic like who actually gets changed before they do their makeup let me know in the comments what your kind of routine is for going out or going to parties do you get changed first or do you do that last? Because I think most people do that last. And I'm just going to bring this really close in to the corner of my eye as well. And blend that pink shade right out. So now I'm just going to take the small brush again. And I'm going to take like the darkest shade I have, which is nearly black. But it's not quite black. And I'm just going to put this in the very outer corner. The very outer like third of my eye to really darken up this look. Right in here. And I'll just bring that along a little bit, but not too much. Done the dark bit. Okay, it's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a black liner, and I'm just going to line how do I describe it 
I'm going to kind of darken up that dark eyeshadow and then put some more dark eyeshadow on the top just to make the very outer parts of my eye super dark. I don't really know how to explain it, but that is kind of the plan. Pop the little bit there and then the method to the madness is that I blend this out. Okay, now I'm going to cut my crease and get rid of the kind of dirtiness on my lid right here because it's a little bit of a mess at the moment. So I'm just going to grab my concealer again and just cut my crease a little bit. Nothing like too extreme, literally just enough to get rid of um, get rid of anything that's fallen down a little bit too far. Okay, now we look a little bit silly. So, getting together, we're getting there, we're getting there. And I'm gonna grab this shade. I don't wanna go super, super light because that's kind of what I usually do is take really light shades. So I'm gonna take this shade, put a little bit of this in the very inner corner, but mainly the shade Cool Beans right here. I'm gonna pack this on to my lid, just where I've put the concealer. Set the concealer, keep it in place, and obviously add color. And then to blend the two together, I'm just gonna take some of this and mix it with a little bit of this to make it a bit darker and I'll just blend those two shades because right now it looks a bit stupid. Just sitting there. Moving on to my face, I'm firstly going to start off by priming with this little thing here. This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. So I'm just going to pop this on my face. I use about this much and I just put it on my cheeks and my chin. And this just gives my face a little bit of a glow. Also in the winter, my skin looks so dry and minging. I'm gonna put some of this um, for, is it for Sally? Oil, the Rose Gold Elixir on my face. I used to mix this with my foundation. Now I just put it on before foundation because my skin really freaking needs it. Really, really like this stuff and it really does hydrate your skin and make it look beautiful. So, I always use this, pretty much, yeah, always use this. Foundation, I'm gonna be taking the L'Oreal Louis Magique foundation today. Um, this is in the shade Golden Linen, Gold Linen, possibly, um, DW3. It's kind of my shade, but kind of not my shade, but I just make it work anyway. Please don't comment thinking I look like an idiot because I probably already know I do. I mean, it kind of is. Anyone else have the struggle of when, like, they're not super pale yet, but they're not tanned. You just don't know what colour you are. It's honestly such a struggle, so, um, yeah. We're just gonna deal with this and I just kind of bring it down my neck and then just blend it with bronzer and it usually turns out fine. That's my motto. If in doubt, just bronzer till it blends. And I've been really enjoying using a foundation brush recently. I think it's just because my beauty blender needs to be replaced, but sometimes using a brush is a nice change and why not? Um so yeah, I've not updated you guys that much, but in a couple days I'm going to Prague. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up. I'm hoping it'll go up pretty soon. So if it goes up pretty soon, then I will be in Prague in like two days time. So look out for those kind of vlogs and videos which will be going up um, on that. And then afterwards, I'm going to Budapest straight from 
um, what am I trying to say? Straight from Prague. So I'm going Budapest, nope. Prague, then Budapest is my plan. So um, let me know how many vlogs you want because I'm in Prague for three days and then I'm in Budapest for four days. So I'm not too sure if I actually want to do, you know, like four Budapest vlogs and three Prague vlogs. That seems like a little bit kind of obscene. But let me know, like, what's a good amount of vlogs? Do you want like two vlogs from each um, holiday, each place? Or would you rather just have one vlog for the place? I don't know, let me know. For concealer, what should we use today? I've got this Maybelline Age Rewind, which is literally nearly finished. So why not use this today? It's just a little bit lighter, which is nice for highlighting. I'm not complaining. And then to do my concealer, I like to use a flat foundation brush and I just pat it in and that way I'm not wiping it to other parts of my face where I don't want concealer. I'm just patting it in to the areas which I want to go and it works out. Um, yeah. So now I just need to powder this shit. Do I spray my tongue? No, what, what do I? So I'm just using my Laurie Mercier powder, popping that on here, using this brush, which I believe is a bronzer brush from Real Techniques, but whatever, I use it as a powder brush. And I just pop that there, like so. Because my skin is dry, and also it's winter, so it's even worse, um, I don't usually powder the rest of my face. Um, Sorry if that offends you. I usually just do my T-zone and then I leave it. Then for bronzer, I'm just gonna take the Bahama, Bahama, Bahama Mama bronzer and do a little bit of bronzing using the Morphe M3530 brush. M530 brush. And just do this. And I'll also just bring it up onto my forehead as well because I always like doing that. Also, with this bronzer, I'm not going to add any more product, but I'm just going to take it kind of onto my cheeks as well, kind of blending upwards as bronzer, no, as blusher, because um, I'm not going to use any blusher today. And then for highlight, I am going to use my most extra highlight ever. It's the strongest thing in the world. It's by Ciate, and it looks like this. It is in the shade Moon Dust. It's amazing, but it's so, so strong. So I keep it for nights out and nights out only because otherwise I will blind somebody. So I'm just gonna pop that. It just makes your skin almost look like it's wet. It's really cool, I like it. And then I just put on my brow bone as well. And um, then I need to do my eyebrows. I've just realized I am walking about with no eyebrows, which just looks silly. I'm using the Benefits Brow Pomade in the shade number three. I love this stuff and I use it all the time. I'm not going to do eyeliner with this look because it's very heavy already, but what I am going to do is I'm just going to take the transition shade, run that underneath my eyeball. The pink and the brown which we used, I'm also just going to run the, that underneath my eye. I'm just going to pop a little bit of black liner in my waterline. This black liner, by the way, is from Lottie. It's the AM to PM liner, if you guys were interested. So now I am just gonna go ahead and pop some eyelashes on. I will be back once I've done eyelashes because I can't do them on camera. So I'll be back in two minutes. Well, for you, it'll be like a second, whatever. Eyelashes are done. They make such a difference in my opinion. Like, I don't know. I don't even use 
ones that are that dramatic. These are literally just the Ardell Demi Wispies and they make such a difference. So I have changed, if you can see here, but I'm not too sure if this is what I'm gonna stay in. So I'll just do what I usually do um, and put a photo on my Instagram for you guys to check out. So if you wanna see what outfit I do wear, um, on my night out, I will link it in the description of this video. Just popping some mascara on the bottom as well. Recently, I have been having such a problem with mascara going under my eye. I have never had this problem before. It's never ever transferred underneath my eye. But now, I don't know why. All of a sudden, I after after maybe like an hour of wearing makeup. I guarantee I'll have smudges under my eyeball and I'm not doing anything that different. The mascara which I was just using is the Roller Lash by Benefit which I've been using for a while so it's probably kind of running out. I'm going to go a little bit extra for today. I'm going to use a dark lip with a dark eye and I know this is going to be scary for me. I'm not used to this. So this is the matte liquid lip called Sisley Iris from The Body Shop. I'm gonna pop this on and I will put something lighter in the center of my lips to not make it too extreme. But we'll start off with this. First of all. Not too, but like, I'm actually kind of okay with this dark and dark combo. I thought it was gonna be really extreme, but no, I feel like it's not actually that bad. Maybe on camera it looks ridiculous. Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? I think we're done. I feel so wintry, autumnal, wintry. Don't know what I'm going for here. I really like this. Surprisingly, this is so outside my comfort zone. I actually kind of like how this turned out, surprisingly. So, I'm gonna finish this makeup look up right now. I have just simply strained my hair and left it down, which I think I'm gonna do because it's easy and also my hair is freshly washed. So if I try and curl it or anything, it'll probably fall out. So keeping it straight and simple is probably the best thing for me tonight. So this is the finished makeup look. As I said, head over to my Instagram to check out my outfit for the night. And also feel free to follow me while you're there. And of course, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you soon for my next Christmas video. Bye guys.